Good morning ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome back to Creator on Wheels. I am Shiv and hope you guys are doing happy and healthy. Welcome back to yet another Nissan Kicks video. And if you have noticed the last two videos have been around the kicks, not the previous one. The previous one was more of like a fun and uh, educational one as you can call it. Uh, but uh, the video that I posted uh, two weeks back that was about the second, uh, sorry, the third service experience. I see a lot of uh, comments on that, people talking about Nissan and also the challenges with the Nissan service and all those stuff. So one of the questions that was there in that particular uh, video and also in some of the previous videos related to my Nissan Kicks was something related to the service cost or whatever you can call it as the maintenance cost as such. So considering the fact that I have done about 17,000 kilometers, 17 and a half I think um, and I have uh, driven this car for about uh, 3 years now, um, it was due for a third service and the third service apparently is the paid service in Nissan, the first two ones are free, free as in no labor cost, the third one is a paid service. So I can give you a very quick breakup of what the cost will look like and what was uh, the cost that uh, I had to, what was the, uh, the amount that I had to pay for the third service and I think so what others might pay might be slightly less than this because there are a couple of things here in this uh, uh, my um, paid service which might not be applicable for everyone. So typically as you know there are two components to a uh, uh, service bill one is your parts the second thing is your labor and the in the free service the labor is theoretically zero but uh, they do add few things here and there like just to add some amount okay it's not not really always full zero but uh, if not for the parts we are the consumables which is typically your um, oil oil filter and air filter like that uh, here they add like a very marginal like few hundred rupees or something but when it comes to the paid service the service cost so which is the labor cost of uh, service in Nissan is 2500 rupees okay so that's the fixed amount that you have to pay uh, irrespective of what you get done in your car and uh, when it comes to uh, my specific bill uh, let me give you a very uh, higher level breakup because there are few of them which are like smaller amounts which using the code I am not able to understand because as I told you I sent the car for service and I got it back so the invoice was sent to me like after almost two days uh, I mean the, the exact soft copy of the invoice was sent to me after two days so I, did, I mean after all the experience I did not bother to go back and check like what is this 100 rupees for what is that 50 rupees for I didn't ask like that but uh, at a very higher level the three main consumables uh, are your oil uh, and this big boy takes about uh, four and a half liters of oil I think it's 10 w40 if I am right what has been put and that in itself is around 1700 rupees it's not exactly 1700 I think 1709 or something like that the second thing is uh, the air filter and the third one is um, the oil filter so the oil filter cost you about 400 and odd rupees the air filter is about 700 rupees and there are some caliper grease and term grease that they have put which like 3500 rupees and things like that wiper wash fluid they'll charge you around uh, i think 45 rupees there is something called filter pass compartment or something that is charged as 565 i need to go back and check this particular one as to what it means the washer drain is about 100 rupees and last thing is something which is very specific to my particular service and if you remember in that video what I posted two weeks back I had mentioned that I had a little bit of AC issue like especially when I'm doing a long drive um, after an hour or so like I used to see a sudden dip in the AC efficiency and it used to catch up but I used to see this noticeably so they checked and they told that the, uh, the it needs to be topped up so here they told it as AC gas um, the price per unit is 2.8 and they have put about 300 units so the full charge for that is around 756 rupees so these are my consumables or like the, the parts charges and when it comes to the labor as i told you it is 2500 rupees for the labor and uh, ac disinfectant charges is around almost 1000 rupees 998 rupees and the third one is um, 
uh, it is very specific to me which is a vehicle pick up and drop within city which they charge about uh, 200 rupees one way that is like 400 rupees I, I think they have certain uh, distance uh, limitations but for me as it was around 25 kilometers uh, one way it is around 200 so pick up and drop together is about 400 rupees is what they charge so all in all what I have actually paid for the service is 8425 rupees that's the total service charge uh, that i paid for the third service of, of my nissan kicks so i think there are definitely two components uh, which will not be there for uh, uh, most of the other folks i would say most i would not say all of them uh, one is definitely this um, car pick up and drop that in itself you can save about 400 rupees I, again it depends on how far or how close you are to the service center for me 25 kilometers going and dropping the car and then coming back in a cab and again again going in a cab to pick it up the next day bring back uh, first is the cab cost second thing is the time uh, those in itself is way more than uh, the 400 rupees that i end up paying so i'm perfectly fine by paying that 400 rupees for the pickup and drop but as i told you in the previous video uh, this is the last time i'm giving it there so next time onwards i'm giving it in uh, a different multi-brand service so that's much closer so i don't mind going and dropping and picking it up because i can go in i mean i can come back in metro if i really need to so if not for this 400 rupees the other place where your cost might come down is this ac gas recharge or something what they call it so it was a very specific issue to me uh, not really an issue but uh, i think the ac maintenance if you do regularly you don't have to uh, pay all this uh, unexpected uh, AC top up or the gas top up charges. Uh, the last two years, uh, all thanks to the pandemic and lockdowns and all those stuff, uh, I admit that I had not got the AC checked properly. There was I think once last year 2021 that I had managed to get the AC disinfectant thing done but uh, not really the gas check and all those stuff. So there you can save around 800 rupees. So typically you can expect around 7,200 to 7,500 like give or take you can assume that the charges will be somewhere around 7,500 rupees which includes 2,500 rupees of labor charges and then the charges for your uh, engine oil which is uh, around 1,800 rupees, 1,700 to 1,800 rupees, the oil filter, the air filter and all those uh, tiny tiny things that they add like uh, wiper fluid and uh, grease and all those stuff so seven and a half thousand is approximately what it is now uh, the best part is like last week when i was going through all this um, uh, struggle to get an uh, appointment done and uh, uh, figure out uh, how to send my car for service and all those things that's exactly when i was in general searching for uh, certain information around service cost and all those things because i knew right it's a paid service so i just wanted to understand like how the service cost is typically uh, for nissan kicks uh, when it comes to paid service so i was just doing a little bit of google search and i found one particular uh, website where they had given a breakup of uh, the first five service i think uh, the first five service charges uh, the first two obviously being the free and the next three being uh, the paid service typically how much uh, it cost like that they have given so in that what i noticed is what i have paid is almost in lines with what is given in that website so there i think they had given 8000 rupees as the third service charges i paid around uh, eight and a half which again like there are two variable components which is pick up and drop and the ac gas top up charges and another interesting thing that I saw in that which was new to me was this whole maintenance charge if you are uh, maintaining your car well with timely service and proper uh, taking care and all those stuff. The thing is like there, ex, uh, there the, the person there was quoting the average cost per year of maintaining a Nissan Kicks would come up to 5000 rupees. That's what, that was pretty surprising to me actually. So the way he has given is like uh, the first two services are free so the charges is like less than 5000 I think he's given somewhere around 4000 the third service he had given it as around uh, 
eight thousand rupees and the next two are slightly lower i'm not sure if it is because the oil change is less frequent or what i'll probably go back and check once again and if possible i'll just post a screenshot of that uh, breakup there but the overall service cost a regular service without any issues without any car breakdown or anything um, that guy has given about uh, 24000 order like you can uh, assume it as 25000 rupees as a service cost that an owner would incur over a period of 5 years so you can do a simple math it will come up to around 5000 which is really really very surprising and shocking for me because i did not expect it to be that low uh, not that i expect nissan service to be costly but um, my previous car was a volkswagen polo and the average cost that i used to pay there was somewhere around eight to nine thousand rupees after the free service i in fact like i had that annual maintenance contract so the first three to four years was slightly less but the next five years like i had that car for almost nine years um, it was a volkswagen polo petrol high-end model the average service cost used to be somewhere around nine thousand to nine thousand five hundred rupees for me so compared to that this is very very um, reasonable and uh, as i told you um, we need, I need to check next year uh, what happens when I give it to this uh, uh, multi-brand car service uh, place. Uh, how much do they charge? What is their uh, uh, labor charge and all those things? Probably I'll just do a quick visit to them on one of the weekends and try to figure out um, what is their cost and what is their breakup, typical breakup looks like. And I'll try to share that information. Or maybe you can expect that video after a year when I actually gave my car for full service and I can give a breakup about it. So that's exactly how much it uh, costs you to do a third service, third paid service for a Nissan Kicks. Um, that is around 8,500 rupees or maybe uh, in general it's around 7,500 rupees. Hope that was helpful and um, if you are one of the people who are watching this video who are considering uh, buying a Nissan vehicle, uh, hope that was helpful for you. Or if you know somebody who is planning to buy a Nissan Kicks or maybe even a Nissan Magnite, uh, please do feel free to share it to them so that it will be helpful for their planning because a lot of the questions I see is uh, it's 2022 and there are a lot of competitive cars out there in the market. Should I really buy a Nissan car? Should I really buy a Magnite? Should I really buy a Kicks? As personally, as I told you in the previous video, the car quality is top notch. It's a 10 on 10 rated car according to me uh, each person might have their own perspective about it and our mileages might vary but um, personally i feel it's a fantastic car the drive quality the comfort the space everything is fantastic it does not have all these fancy features like sunroof and heated seats and all those things but um, for the type of driving that i do for the type of places that i take this car to i don't think so it is required and again, if I really need a cooling, ventilated cooling seat, the AC is very good. I don't think so. I really need a ventilated seat for it. It's all fancy features. I don't know how many people will use it regularly and all those things. And I'm not a huge fanboy of the sunroof. So I'm not missing that either. But um, I would say definitely Nissan is a fantastic brand. The cars that they make is top notch. It's only this uh, dealership network and the service factor which makes it a little bit challenging uh, so if you have that sorted out if you have a very if you have a service center nissan or a reno service center nearby or a very good multi brand car service nearby then i would say blindly go for this car there is no looking back and you'll definitely even in the test drive itself you'll fall in love with this car it's really as good as that so somebody watching this and if you are considering that is exactly what i want to summarize it as and um, as I told you, that's it for this video and I'll uh, see you again in another video with some more information around Nissan Kicks or anything around Nissan Kicks. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Matte Sigana.